Tonight, the Virginia Department of Transportation is working to address a costly and disruptive problem. All the small pipes running under roads in central Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley are aging and they are breaking. NBC 29's Henry Graff dug into the issue. VDOT has a plan. Yeah, VDOT has a plan, but one uh, VDOT engineer tells me they have it's the same story everywhere. Limited resources, but mm -hmm. so many pipes here to deal with in the end. And those pipes, also known as culverts, are failing due to age and environmental issues. But a new digital tool could help VDOT cut down on the number of emergency repairs. Repair after repair after repair. The cost to keep up with roads in central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley is adding up. Currently, we don't have a good inventory of smaller size culverts. Culverts are the pipes that run under roads, and VDOT has a lot of them. So much so, inspectors don't know where they are all located. We are responsible for making sure they're clear and they convey water properly and making sure they're in good condition. But debris like rocks, branches, and just about anything can clog up the pipes, causing damage and erosion eventually impacting the road above and often resulting in costly emergency repairs. That was evident last week when crews had to fix a failed pipe on Georgetown Road and last fall when several culverts failed on Profit Road following heavy rain. And now this week, crews will repair old stormwater pipes overnight along Route 53 in Albemarle County. Quite honestly, they're buried, so we aren't able to lay our eyes on them as much as we'd like to. In the Shenandoah Valley, VDOT estimates the Stanton District has more than 50,000 linear feet of small pipes. To keep up, engineers use visual inspections, check roads for dips and deformities, and review pipes ahead of paving operations. And we re replace any pipes that, that may need it, because the last thing we want to do is put down fresh asphalt and then have to cut it open to repair a pipe. Recently, all eight VDOT districts started using a new tool called Highway Maintenance Management System. Over the next five years, crews will log all those smaller assets, like culverts, into the GIS-based program, trying to stay ahead when it comes to inspections and maintenance to make sure the roads we drive on each day remain safe. We hope to have less um, emergency situations by knowing the condition in advance and being able to plan for and budget for those. VDOT's Culpeper District sets aside more than $300,000 each year to replace all that aging infrastructure. And we do have some other good news aside from that GS program that they're using now. As they are replacing these old pipes, those metal pipes that corrode really easily over time, they're now doing it with plastic pipes to extend the lifeline of that pipe under the road. Hopefully fewer sinkholes. Yeah, good news short term and long term. Yeah, and hopefully, yeah, fewer sinkholes <laughs> and, and detours and yeah. all that down the road. And, no one likes them. Thanks, Henry. Yeah. Henry, thank you.